Uh, moving on on the men's side, a couple of hard-fought games for the Statesmen uh, in Memphis against CBU and then in Jackson against Union. Uh, fell in Memphis on Thursday night and then to Union. Uh, West Florida and Valdosta coming here to Cleveland this week. Uh, standout performer Malik Cartwright, uh, 20 and 11 against CBU, 18 and 13 uh, versus Union. So with that, we'll bring up uh, head coach Mike Neenaber to make a statement and take your questions. Well, <laughs> I'm like a broken record. It, you know, we're continuing to try to to get better. Um, you know, I think the point that was made. I think the the most positive thing that's happened over the last three to four weeks is the emergence of Malik. Uh, and when you're when you're trying to run Princeton like a offense, that's the position that's the most important and the most difficult to fill. And I think the signs are good that we've we've figured it out that we filled it. Uh, and the, good, the great thing is we've done it with a freshman. So you got to feel good about having him in the middle of this over the next three, three seasons, the rest of this year. So that's a really positive thing. Uh, CBU game was frustrating because I felt like that was one of the few games this year that I thought our defense just laid down. I didn't think we played very well. Uh, and, and you know, a lot of games I feel like our offensive inefficiency and just inexperience has taken its toll on us. And a lot of times when we got hurt defensively throughout the season, our offense a lot of times is what put us in harm's way. But the game in Memphis was uh, was disappointing because I didn't feel like we played very well defensively. Saturday at Union, we did what we've often done. We got off to a slow start, got behind, but we battled. And uh, I thought our defense was pretty good there. Uh, so, you know, again, we're just continuing to try to get better. And I think, you know, there's there's times where we're showing those signs. I, I, I left I left Jackson Saturday feeling pretty positive about the direction. Uh, we've got five games left. Um, you know, of course, we got Valdosta this Saturday, who's tied for first place. So that's obviously, if you just look at the schedule, that's obviously the toughest of the five. I think the other four are very winnable. You know, and I'm not going to say that Valdosta is not winnable too, but that's going to be the toughest. But you know. The other four, we've, we've kind of gotten through this tough stretch where we've been playing the top two or three teams in the league back to back to back, and that's taken its toll on us. But, uh, you know, we've got some games coming up. You know, the West Florida game down there, uh, we lost, you know, they shot free throws when time had expired. So, and that kind of was the beginning of our long, uh, painful stretch of January. And, uh, but again, that, that's a team that if we play well Thursday night, it's a game we can win. So, you know, we'll, we'll move from there. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's, it's really exciting about the way Malik has been playing. Hopefully, I, I, I'll be shocked if he's not freshman of the week again. I haven't looked at other teams' stats, but the kind of numbers he, he's putting up player of the week numbers, much less freshman of the week numbers. So, uh, you know, so we'll see how that goes. But, you know, I'd like his confidence is growing and, uh, you know, our confidence in him and, and you know, re recognizing that we need to get him the ball as much as possible and then play from there. So, As far as this, these, uh, these recent games, as, as far as on the, on the, player, on the players in and, and co coaching in, how, talk about the, the mindset of, of the team right now, the, the morale, morale of the team at this yeah, point. Yeah, I mean, good question. I, I, I think that has been the biggest plus that we're trying, and, and we're trying to keep the focus on – again that we're building and you know so you got to take it from two sides uh the thing i keep saying to the to the younger guys and the core of our team because we only have two seniors is you know we're trying to get better we want to win as many as we can right now because any night you go home i mean it, that double overtime win against auburn montgomery i felt pretty good that saturday night you know so you know you just want to have that those wins as much as you can and i think we do have several games like i said coming up that can be won um but our number one focus is getting better for the future. And my focus as a coach and, you know, and, and, and I'm stressing to those guys that you're playing to try to put yourself in a position where you're going to be a key player as we go forward. So those guys are competing for playing time next year and, and beyond. Um, now, that being said, when, you're when you start talking like that, you kind of you, you, you got to be careful. Your seniors are sitting there like, well, you know, but the thing I always am quick to point out is that's what's best for the seniors because our seniors are playing, you know, our senior point guard is in there almost, you know, usually 40 minutes a game. So 
I'm trying to do things with those young guys to make his last five games as good as they can be and try to get as many wins for him as I can. And, and Cam, is, Cam has been a great senior. I, I talked to the team about it the other night that I think Cam has been a good example because as Malik has emerged, it's been at Cam's expense a lot in playing minutes. And Cam has been a really true senior leader from the standpoint of he's coming every day, he's keeping his head up. You know, there, there's always a little, you know, there's always some people that are pouting about playing time. And Cam has not been that guy. He's in there working every day, keeping his head up, keeping a smile on his face. So I'm really pleased with the overall attitude of the team because, you know, this is a challenge. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's real easy when, when you're winning and you, you've won seven or eight games in a row. I seem to remember that back some days, <laughs> somewhere back in my distant past. But, um, you know, it's easy, when, you know, and you're not having to push a lot of buttons. And the thing is, when you're going through a rough stretch like we've been through, you do change. We do tweak and adjust things. Uh, so, but I, I am, I'm pleased with the whole mindset. And we're looking at it. we got at least three more weeks of practice, and we're going to try to continue to get better. And, you know, because after that, you kind of have to back down. And, you know, you got to let them off for a couple of weeks. And as far as the future, you, you cut back to where you can only really do four hours a week so as long as we've got 15 to 20 hours a week to work we're gonna we're gonna keep working looking ahead at the schedule are you thinking that you maybe need to possibly win out to make the tournament i think winning out would do it but uh you know that that's the you know the only way you can do that is beat west florida um you know and i i think it's still doable but we've kind of gone away from looking at that and and really just trying to focus you know it's a you know, cliche but you know we're really just trying to focus on the next game if we can get west florida you know um you know we'll feel better about going into saturday um, you know that was a rough game down there we got kind of got away from our game plan but you know west florida like i said is, is, a, is a winnable game if we play well so hopefully we'll come out here thursday night and you know get get that kind of effort Well, you know, we did that, but uh, you know, honestly, that West that last West Florida game seems like it was two years ago, right now. You know, with what we've been through the last month and a half, but and that was the beginning of it. But we'll be talking about it more because we'll be watching film the next couple of days, focused on that game and what went well and what didn't. But um, you know, like I said, it was obviously it's a team that we can play with. Uh, so you know, hopefully we'll hopefully here at home. You know, and it's, that, that West Florida of Aldosta, those trips are, are tough on the legs, tough on, the, on everything. So, you know, they got to make that long trip coming in here Wednesday. You know, hopefully, hopefully it'll slow them down a step. Good. Thanks.